Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Now in today's video we're going to solve this problem 2 of job costing and in the previous videos we have seen the concept and we have already solved one simple problem here. Yeah? So if you haven't watched those two videos then please make sure you have watched that yeah. The links will be in the description below. Now let's come back to this video. See here we are going to solve this question. Let's go through the question first and then we're going to see how we have to solve it right. So see here let's start. The following expenses were incurred on job number 501. So here we have the details materials 97200 so these are the direct materials we have to take that as it is yeah and then here we have direct wages see here wages paid department a 40 hours at rupees 80 per hour so the actual hours and the rate per hour is given yeah these hours are for this job only particularly so that's why what we're going to do we're going to just multiply that 40 hours into 80 like that yeah department b department c same thing fine then we have works overhead expenses of these department were estimated as under so here what do we have see Department A, 90,000 for 6,000 working hours. Now, you have to think properly. In this job, in Department A, only 40 hours are taken. Yeah. So here they have given us the details of 6,000 working hours. So what we have to do? We have seen this in the previous video also. We have to take this whole expense, yeah, 90,000, divided by 6,000. So we'll get how much for one working hour. And then multiply that rate with 40 hours the actual labor hours that has been taken in job number 501 is that okay right so that's what we have to do yeah 1 lakh divided by 5000 you will get a rate into 50 hours 1 lakh 20000 divided by 3000 working hours you will get you know the rate for one hour one normal working hour and multiply that by 60 hours the actual labor hours of this job is that okay so that's how you have to take works overhead then we have see here the most important thing of this problem office expenses where 7,50,000 when total direct wages paid in all the three departments was 25 lakh okay so this detail is given to us and this detail is not of the current year it might be of the previous year yeah so why have they given us this detail see here it is the practice to recover office expenses as percentage of direct wages so here in this sentence we understand that see the reason for this detail office expenses 750 and then direct wages of all three departments are given as a gross 25 lakh yeah so why is this given to us that's because what this business does is they take the office expenses as a percentage of direct wages how much percentage we don't know that that detail is not given but we can calculate that with the help of this first sentence 7 lakh 50 and 25 lakh see here they have said office expenses were were 7 lakh 50 when total direct wages were 25 lakh yeah so we can just take a ratio of these two and we'll find out the percentage yeah how much percentage is that yeah office expenses of direct wages total direct wages and then we'll make use of that percentage and calculate in this job in this job cost sheet okay we'll see that don't worry all we have to do over here is just understand we have to first calculate the percentage what is the percentage that we have to use to take the office expenses see they have said clearly it is the practice to recover office expenses as percentage of direct wages yeah, so we'll see that don't worry and then here we have find out cost of job number 501 and its price to include 20 percent profit on selling price that's what we do right we prepare job cost sheet yeah and we calculate the total cost and then the selling price by also calculating the profit the profit percentage is given that is 20 percent profit on selling price we have to convert this 20 by 80 will convert it into percentage on cost price is that okay right so now let's go to the solution and let's understand how we're going to solve this. Now here we have the solution. See, I have already prepared everything to save the time. So let's understand how we're going to prepare this job cost sheet for this job number 501. So the first thing that you have to keep in mind is we are not concerned with the whole business. We are only concerned about this job number 501 and only those details, only the details of this job will come into the cost sheet. Is that okay? Right. So let's start. The first thing that we have to take is see here it's given the following expenses were incurred on job number 501. So material, these materials are incurred for this job, 97,200. Direct materials, you're going to take it. Direct materials as it is, 97,200. Is that okay? Right. Next, you're going to take direct wages. Yeah. Direct wages is given over here. Wages paid, department A, 40 hours at rupees 80 per hour. So what you're going to do? Just multiply as it is. Yeah. 40 hours into rupees 80. Yeah. So see here, 40 into rupees 80, that is equal to 3,200. That's the direct wages of department A for this job number 501. Is that okay? Not total direct wages, only of this job. Is that okay? So 3,200, same way you have to do for department B and C, 50 into 90, 60 into 50. Is that okay? So you will get the direct wages of these department for this job. 
and you have to take it in inner column and then take the sum of that into the outer column so 3200 plus 4500 plus 3000 that is equal to 10,700 yeah that's the total direct wages for this job and then add the direct materials you will get what you will get the uh, prime cost yeah so let's do that see here 97,200 yeah sorry 97,200 that is equal to 1,7900 that's the prime cost yeah then what do we have then see works overhead expenses of these departments were estimated as under so works overhead is given but this works overhead here we have been given the total see here department a total overheads works overhead is given that is 90,000 for 6,000 working hours yeah but here we are not concerned about the whole department of the whole factory no we are just concerned about this job isn't it so what we're going to do first we're going to calculate how much for one normal working hour this 90,000 rupees is for 6,000 working hours. So first we have to calculate how much for one normal working hour and then multiply by the then multiply by the actual working hour that is taken in the department A for this job number 501. So see it's very simple. So let's calculate how much for one normal working hour 90,000 rupees yeah rupees 90,000 divided by 6,000 normal working hours yeah that's what we're going to take. If we divide that we get 15 rupees for one normal working hour. So 15 rupees into 40 yeah 40 actual labor hours of department a so into 40 we got the works overheads department a for job number 501 is that okay did you understand see here 90,000 divided by 6,000 we got 15 rupees 15 rupees into actual labor hour 40 we got 600 the same way you have to do for department b and c see here we have department b let's do of department b 1 lakh yeah 1 lakh is there so let's take that 1 lakh rupees divided by 5,000 yeah 5000 if you divide that you got how much for one normal working hour multiply by multiply that with the department b actual labor hour for this job that is 50 hours yeah the labor hours so into 50 that is equal to 1000 is that clear one lakh divided by 5000 into 50 right same way for department c you will get these amounts right 1000 see here 1000 and then take a sum of that into the outer column 600 plus 1000 plus 2400 that is equal to 4000 is that okay yes so prime cost plus this works overhead you will get the works cost isn't it yes so let's just add that 4000 plus 117900 you got the works cost 111900 and then we come to the main thing see here the main thing about this problem because these things we have already done in the previous problem also yeah now see here office expenses where yeah where 750000 when total direct wages paid in all three departments was 25 lakh so why is this given see here it is the practice to recover office expenses as percentage of direct wages so what we have to do we have to first calculate what is the percentage of you know office expenses yeah so we can just calculate that okay what percentage we have to take of direct wages so that we can calculate the office expense see here, it's very simple what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take a ratio of these two seven lakh fifty thousand and 25 lakh just a fraction of that see here 7 lakh 50 thousand divided by 25 lakh this is of whole factory the whole business actually yeah this 25 direct wages is of whole factory this 7 lakh 50 thousand office expenses is of whole factory so now what we have to do we have to you know first find out the percentage what is that percentage that they usually take and then apply that percentage in this job is that okay so first let's calculate that percentage and how we're going to do that 7 lakh 50 thousand divided by 25 lakh yeah just a fraction of that if you do that you get 0 0.3 30 percent yeah into 100 in terms of percentages 30 percent right so it's a practice of the business to recover office expenses as a percentage of direct wages yeah so now what's the direct wages we have over here direct wages in this job we are not concerned about this 25 lakh because this is of whole factory and i've told you in the beginning only in job cost sheet we are only concerned about the job not of the whole business so that's why we're going to take 30 percent of direct wages but not this 25 lakh direct wages no 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 of only of this job 10,700 30 percent of this 10,700 total direct wages of job number 501 is that okay so 10,700 into what it's how much 30 percent right into 30 percent that is equal to 3210 3210 yeah so that's the office expenses of this job number 501 do you understand what did we do over here see it's very simple 
it is the practice of the company to always calculate the office expenses as a percentage of direct wages but we don't know that percentage yeah, it's not given over here so what we have to do we have to see the past data yeah past year data and see what were the office expenses and what were the direct wages yeah in total of the factory and then see what is the percentage yeah office expenses are of direct wages yeah that's what we did 7 lakh 50 thousand divided by 25 lakh so we got the percentage yeah what's that percentage that percentage was 0 0.3 means what into 100 that's equal to 30 percent yeah, it's 30 percent so once we got to know that it's 30 percent then in this year also we'll apply that same rate yeah 30 percent only so 30 percent of direct wages direct wages of what of this job only because th in this cost sheet we are just concerned about what job number 501 because this is job cost sheet okay not the normal cost sheet okay so that's what 30 percent of 10,700 yeah direct wages we got 3,210 clear you understood this is how you have to do it okay it's not difficult everything is over then what do we have just add it up you will get the total cost right so let's take that 1 lakh 11 thousand nine hundred plus three thousand two hundred and ten that is equal to 1 lakh fifteen thousand hundred and ten yeah that's your total cost yeah at last that's the final answer you have so total cost now what we have to do now we have to calculate the profit see here find out the cost of job number 501 and its price to include 20 percent profit on selling price so here what have they given us percentage on selling price but till now what we have done we have done till here right we don't have the selling price and in the question they are saying that calculate 20 percent selling price we don't have the selling price how are we going to calculate on selling price so what we are going to do we are going to convert that percentage on cost price and it's very simple to do that i have already explained to you isn't it see here 20 percent on selling price from selling price percentage we have to go to cost price percentage so we are going back yeah think like that so that's what we're going to do this 80 see this calculation you have to do see here 20 divided by 80 yeah now you will wonder why 80 see we got 25 percent yeah into 100 that's 25 percent sorry 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 20 divided by 80 that's equal to something into 100 that's equal to 25 percent yeah so now why did i take this 80 it's simple we are going back think like that from selling price selling price will always be higher and cost price will always be lower so from selling price we are going down yeah we are coming back so if you are coming back then what you have to do always remember this when you're coming back you're gonna do 100 minus 20 that percentage is given to you right this is how you are gonna do and you will get that 80 yeah if you are going you know from cost to selling price then what do you do you add is that okay right for example if you know 25 was given 25 on cost see let's just do this reverse only okay let's go reverse let's say if 25 percent of total cost was given and for some reason you wanted this yeah actually it's not required but let's say you did yeah so from here how are we going to go back 25 divided by 125 that's equal to into 100 that's equal to 20 percent you see this is how you have to do it if you're going from selling price percentage to cost what are you going to do you're going to subtract if you're going to cost to selling then you're going to add is that okay so that's the logic fine so this is what you have to do so we got that percentage 25 percent on total cost right so once we get that we have the cost easily we can calculate 25 percent on total cost total cost is one like fifteen thousand hundred and ten yeah into what percent 25 percent right into 25 percent that's equal to twenty eight thousand seven hundred and seventy seven point five so let's just round it off yeah twenty eight thousand seven seven eight is that okay 778 so that's our profit and if you add that profit to the total cost what are you going to get the final answer the selling price so plus 1 lakh 15,110 that's equal to 1 lakh 43,888 so that's our selling price is that okay so this is how you have to do it yeah? it's not a big deal it's very simple the new thing which we saw in this question was this part office expenses yeah the percentage that recovery percentage was not given to us yeah it's a per practice to recover office expenses as percentage of direct wages so what we had to do first we had to calculate from the past data once we get that percentage apply that percentage in this current year also in this job cost sheet and you will get the office expenses for this job that's the new thing we saw in this video okay then see you in the next video yeah bye